Hey, Brainiacs! What? Hey, Brainiacs! What? It's time for Brain Scan, the most exciting live new comic day preview on the interwebs. October 30th, 2019. That's the day before Halloween. What? It's <laughs> going to be the spookiest brain scanner. <laughs> I am Katie. And I'm Shay. Let's get ready to look at some new comments. Yeah. Wow, we already got people watching. Hey, Eddie. Hey, Philip. Hey, Frank. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Chime in. Tell us what looks good. Okay, what do we got this week? Moving on to our action adventure show. We are starting with Amber Blake trade paperback. This book was in high demand when it came out in single issues. We finally got the collection. Hooray! Whoop, whoop. Hooray! Bullock shot number two. Ooh. Ooh, look at that sweet Dave Johnson cover. Hey, did anyone get a Ooh. chance to see the Bloodshot trailer? I heard it dropped last week. Right. Tell oh. us what you think. Pretty good. Philip Little's in. Very nice. <gasps> yeah. Uh, we got the Simon Bisley cover on yeah, the B. That's cool. I think we got a C. Did we get oh, a C? Did we get a C? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, we did. Declan Shelby? Maybe? Yes, it is. Ha ha. Nailed it. Ha ha. Nice. Nailed it. And we got a second print of number three of Canto. Oh, here's a new thing. Oh, wow. Look at all these new, new books. We have. A new number one, Chrononauts, and check out all of these cool covers. This is a sequel to Chrononauts from Mark Miller. This is Chrononauts Future Shock. It's art by Eric Kinnett. We've got a Kevin Nolan cover there. And uh, it kind of looks like Tommy Lee Edwards, but maybe not. And that one I didn't recognize the name of. Oh, so many covers. Oh, lots of cool covers on number one. Oh, yeah, even we even got a blank sketch. sketch. Awesome. And then we got Chrononauts number two. And these are all color and black and white versions of the cover by Pasquale Ferry. Number three. And number four. Oh, you can catch up in one week. Look at that. You can binge it all. <laughs> binge for the from the publisher of Miller World Comics, Netflix, they've decided to bring binge reading to comics. Awesome. Up on top shelf, we got Black Science Volume 9. Wow. I think that collects the whole thing. Wow, it's over? It's oh, over. Yeah. That's what I heard. And That's the word. Back down, we got a second print of number one of Dead Eyes. As well as Dick Tracy Forever trade paperback. We got an ether number two of five, The Disappearance of Violet Bell. Ooh, that's a nice cover. Both of those are real nice. David Rubin, of course, and I'm not sure who did that it one. Looks kind of like Ooh. Greg Smallwood. It's cool. Nice. Then we have Fight Club three, number 10, with that beautiful David Mack cover, of course. Mm. Oh, oh, we got another one. Oh, oh Fegredo? Yeah. Nice. The B cover to this ether is by Gabrielle Hernandez Walta. Wow, nice. All right. Headless number three. Another high buzz book. Hellboy in the BPRD Long Night at Golosky Station. Featuring art by Matt Smith. And then we have Hit Girl in Hong Kong, which is volume five. This collects the story by Daniel Wei. Invisible Kingdom number six. Ooh. Starting that new story. James Bond 007, number 12. Another Dave Johnson cover. Kick Ass, number 18. Uh, Marcello Frusen on the A. Oh. Uh, the Black and White on the B. Cool. And. Oh, oh. oh wow. That's yeah, this real is nice. a, this one I didn't get right away, but it is Christian Ward. Ooh, looking good. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. And then we have Knight's Temporal, number four. As well as last stop on the red line, number four of four. Mall, number three. Manor Black, number four. Uh, that's the Tyler Crook cover. Uh, oh. And the B cover by. No, that's the Tyler Crook cover. Oh, okay. Which one? Oh. Who did that one? Uh oh. Mm. Maybe Tyler Crook did them both? No. No, nah, probably sense. not. But they look good. They, they look great. They look swell. 
Okay, oh. going up to the top. Ooh, we got a new heavy metal. It's the music special. Look at all those names. I got Def Leppard, Megadeth, oh, wow. and uh, Look at all these. Oh. Did you, how many of these bands have you seen, Dan? Um, I know you love Slipknot. Huh? I've seen a few of these bands. I only got Tenacious D and Grimes. And Skulls, Skulls, Skulls. Music special. Awesome. Oh, a new one, too. It's uh, uh, a Jimmy's Bastards, the complete collection. <laughs> it took its time getting out. <laughs> sure did. And back down. We have Necromancer's Map number three. From Vault. As well as The Plot number two. And then we have a second print of number one. If you missed it the first time. Yeah. Punk Mambo trade paperback. Red Winter, number four. Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Some shelf configuring going on here. Relics of Youth, number two. Cool cover there. Nice. The Ride, Burning Desire, number five of five. I'm not sure who did that one, but the, uh, the A covers by uh, Ron Hilliard. Cool. Yeah, fun book. We got a new number one from Valiant. It's Roku. Written by Colin Bunn. Nice. Safe sex number two. Snow White Zombie Apocalypse. A new number one <laughs> from Scout. <laughs> Creepy. Uh oh. Test number five. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, we uh -oh. must have run out of test Whoa. already. <laughs> Get those orders in early, folks. Vampire State Building number two. Number one was a blockbuster hit, wasn't it? That's right. It flew out of here. <laughs> Witchblade number 16. And Wolvenheart, a new number one from Mad Cave. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, very uh, high detailed anime, anime or manga feel to it. Oh, we got one more. We're wrapping up our action adventure shelf with these Savage Shores trade paperback. It looks kind of creepy. There was a lot of buzz around this series when it first came out. All the issues went to new printings. This collects the entire first arc. From Vault. Nice. Awesome. Okay. That wraps up our action adventure. Moving on to our <laughs> no, no. Uh, I need to say, yeah, I need to say hi to a few people. Uh, J Dub Williams comes in a little bit late, but you're all good, J Dub. Hey. Uh, he also says that uh, he met Dirk Manning over the over the weekend. He was a nice guy. Wonderful. So yeah, thanks, thanks for, coming for coming out. out. Awesome. Let's see. Also. Uh, <laughs> Frank Guerrero says, oh, an Omagoma, happy pre-Halloween, <laughs> Green Brain Crew. Woo! Thank you, Frank. Uh, Eddie Alisea says, hey, Green Brain, I'm off work. Yay, good Yay! for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, James Holt says, I made it in finally. Happy comic book hey, day James. Eve. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And let's move on to the new graphic novels. Woohoo! We have Arab of the Future, soft cover, volume four. This has been a very popular series. Godhead trade paperback from Ho Chi Anderson. Mm. Holy Hannah, graphic novel by Will Dinsky. Very nice packaging. Now Comics Anthology, volume six. Often Wrong, volume one. The The Often Wrong by Farrell Dalrymple. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this collects a bunch of odds and ends throughout his last couple years of comic making. Parallel Lines. Parallel Lines? Parallel Lines. Uh. <laughs> Parallel Lives. Let's try it again <laughs> for the third time. Third time's the charm. Oh, yeah. Winter Warrior. And from it? Eve Gilbert. Oh, like and... well, we should probably spotlight this book as well. Oh, yeah. It's called 3D Sweeties. It's great. Look at it. It's puffy. It all's puffy. It's so puffy. <laughs> puffy book. Awesome. That wraps up our indie graphic novels. Now we're going to move it down over to the counter, show you all the new cool stuffs and variant covers and events. And I forgot to update the event board, so we're going to wing it. So while that's being updated, I'll say hey to uh, Ilya Gajev, uh, who asks if we're going to be carrying the Jimmy's Bastards hardcover. 
Yes, sir, we are, and we'd be happy to set one aside for you. Just give us the word. And also, Macario Berry says, Macario Berry says, What's up? I'll be there tomorrow. All Hooray. right. Gonna have a good day. All right, and now to the hastily <laughs> edited events. Well, thanks to everybody who made it out to our Halloween Comic Fest. It was spooky, scary fun. And thank you to the creators who came out and showed off their awesome work. So, yeah. Yeah, Dirk Manning and Scoot McMahon were a hoot. We had a good time. Everybody enjoyed Halloween Comic Fest. Thanks for being a part of it, folks. Awesome. So, coming up on November 9th, we have our Open Board Game Day, which is every second Saturday of the month from 1 to 4 p.m. You can bring in your own games or try out our own growing selection of demo games. And then later, about nine days after that, we have our Brain Candy, which is the third Monday of every month which features live readings, music, art, poetry, all the artsy stuff from, oh, that's actually going to be on my birthday. What? what? From it's 7 to 9 p.m. And I might make an appearance, maybe. Probably. It's birthday season at Green Brain. <laughs> and then about four days after that, we have our laughs in the lair, a live stand-up comedy night. <laughs> 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 Look, she's standing up. Friday, November 22nd, from 7 to 9 p.m. That is a free event, as all of these are, and mature audiences is suggested. And one little note on the laughs in the lair. That will be the final laughs in the lair for the year. Oh. We're taking December off, but uh, do take this last opportunity for 2019. Laughs in the lair, Friday, November 22nd. Mm -hmm. And while Halloween Comic Fest is over, we look to our next holiday, which... We'll let everybody know that we will be closed on Thanksgiving oh, yeah. to spend it with our families. Yay! But comics will still ship on time. Woo! 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 All right, speaking of comics, let's get back to them. We got only a couple variants today. We got uh, both of them from Excalibur. Who did the art? Great question. This one, Mike McCone. Mike McCone, that sounds right. And that is Chris Anka. Nice. That's all we got for variants? That's all we got this week. Well, all right, cool. Well, <laughs> all, all we got that is going on the shelf. Made it, made ah, this part. Yeah. But look what we did get. Ooh, look at these boxes. Check out these. Well, I don't know where I am. Hey. Spooky fun house. Hey, what's cooler than a skeleton on fire riding a motorcycle? Me holding a box of a skeleton on fire riding a motorcycle. Two skeletons on motorcycles. <laughs> Sweet. Awesome. Cool. Let's not go spider boxes. Forget that we oh, got right. new oh. previews. I don't know how to work this crazy thing. <laughs> Are you making everybody dizzy? I just, yeah. Okay, we got new previews. DC previews, Marvel previews, Diamond Comics previews catalog for November. Get Yay. your copy now. This is all the cool stuff that we'll be shipping in January. Aye. You could be the first on your block mm -hmm. to order it. Awesome. Get your orders in now. Pew, pew, pew. All right. Moving on to our DC shelf, starting with Aquaman Giant. It's 100 pages. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Story. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got a new number one from Joe Hill, Hill House Comics, Basket Full of Heads number one with those cool covers who I don't know the artist because they did not tell me. Oh. Yeah, oh, DC. Great. Plus you get chapter one of Sea Dogs. Sea Dogs. Honestly, it kind of looks like Joshua Middleton, but... It does. Very nice cover. It is real nice. It's got a head chopping axe in it. Oh. And then we got the Batman Annual number four from the Diary of Alfred Pennyworth, a Batman tale like no other. And then we have Batman and the Outsiders Annual number one, trapped inside the Soul Taker. Ooh, <laughs> it's so spooky. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Deceased, number six of six. This is the final issue of the Deceased miniseries. This beautiful cover is by Mark Brooks. Oh. And then we got a B cover by Francesco Mattina. Look at that. Nice, nice. And we got a movie variant from oh. Yasmin Putri. Ooh, What's that's, that spooky? That's triggering right there, isn't it? What? Like what? It. 
spooky monkey movie was that from? It's Detective Chimp. I Detective Chimp was a horror movie? No, yeah. but that's Detective Chimp. Oh, all right. I, was I, don't like... what, I don't know what movie it's from. <laughs> I don't watch movies. Then we got a hundred page good 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 ghost giant nine action packed adventures just in time for Halloween. You got the gentleman ghost, you got the specter, you got black lightning and takes John. on a demon. Wow. Yeah, I was gonna say black lightning isn't it a ghost? John Constantine's not a ghost either, but he does a lot of spooky things. Speaking of John Constantine. Oh, we got <gasps> Sam and Universe presents Blazer. Hooray! Oh, cover. by Simon Spurrier. Yeah, he cool. And then the B cover <laughs> by Declan Shelby. Very cool. Nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. All oh. right. Moving up. So yeah, let's move on up. We got Harleen number two by Stepin Sajic. We got this beautiful cover here by the artist creator and this one also by the artist creator those Brady. are beautiful looking good that a cover is so much fun i love it it's great oh and, and then joker Ooh. joker killer smile book one from jeff lemire it's the andrea sorrentino cover and the terry andrews cover that's nice wow creepy. man creepy. lol's crying <laughs> <It's funny. laughs> Lots of fun from Jeff Lemire. Creepy. Then back down, we got The Last God, book one of the Fellspire Chronicles. Very cool looking. Nightwing Annual number two. Then we have Tales from the Dark Multiverse, The Death of Superman. What's happening there? What? Don't know, it's from a different a universe. Oh. It's from the Dark Multiverse. Speaking of the death of Superman, we got Dollar Comics, Superman 75, The Death of Superman. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. And then we have Wonder Woman Annual number three, Trapped in Gorilla City, an event Leviathan tie-in. Oh, well, look at mm. that. Oh, and this cover is by uh, Tyler Kirkham. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, right, right. Yep. That looks nice. Yeah. And, um, oh, and oh, finally. One more. We have Wildstorm Volume 4 by Warren Ellis. This collects the final arc of the Wild Storm by Warren Ellis. This book was so much fun, folks. Awesome. Very so cool. pretty. All right. That wraps up our DC shelf. Now we're going to mosey on over to our Marvel shelf. Anyone we need to uh, say hi to? Oh, yeah. We could say hi to a couple of folks here. Let's see. Uh, James Holt digs your costume, Shay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and happy birthday in advance. J, J Dub digs the Night Rider. Eddie Wright Ghost is Rider. very uh, Ghost Rider. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Eddie Eddie Wright uh, is excited about the previews. Okay. And, and our uh, our person with the top fan badge oh. tonight, Philip Little, yeah. is very excited about the Jeff Lemire. Heck yeah. Dude, that should be like a no prize. If you get the top fan badge, then we give you some type of no prize. Right. Coming I'll, next. I'll, okay. give you a free, I'll, I'll give you a Halloween Comic Fest comic. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually a prize. <laughs> it's actually a prize. It's actually a prize. But that doesn't hurt. <laughs> okay, from Marvel, with this week we got Savage Avengers Annual. With the B cover by, I completely forgot. I think that's, that's Ron Garney one. who does the interior. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> we also got Black Panther, number cover. 17. The Revenge of Cucamonga. Cover what? by the usual, Daniel Acuna. He is the series artist. He's I'm, awesome. I mean, Killmonger. <laughs> Conan the Barbarian, number 10. The final fate of Conan. Is that a cover by Isad Ribich? It, it looks sure like is. It. Oh, yeah. So pretty. Contagion, five of five. That's pretty spooky. Ooh, mm, who people. wants to be covered with lumps? Nope. nope. A covered by Juan Jose Rip. And Ooh. a B covered by Ryan Brown. Creepy mm -hmm. and mushroomy. Ooh. Speaking of crazy, crazy, number one. <laughs> the magazine that dares to be dumb. Throwback to Marvel's crazy days. Crazy days. Crazy daisies. Moving up real quick. Deadpool Volume 3. Weasel goes to hell. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Strange Annual Number 1. That's nice. 
Mm, very cool cover. Ooh, Ooh. Ooh. Be covered by Steve Scrooge. Sure looks like it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Scrooge. Wow. Scrochy, Scrooge, 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 Ooh! Wait. The Fantastic Four Grand Design by Tom Scioli! Hey, we got a nice, beautiful cover by Tom Scioli, of course. And we got a variant cover by... Ed Pisker! Uh, awesome. Ripping off that classic Dark Knight Returns cover by yeah. Frank Miller. And we got one more cover oh, oh. also oh, yeah. by Tom Scioli. Oh, yeah, nice! That. Very excited to so good. break into that book. Awesome. All right. Wonderful. What's next? Invisible Woman, number four of five. Beautiful cover by Adam Hughes. Very nice. Book by Mark Wade. Uh, Marvel vs. Iron Man. Little, um... Just one of their smaller cut size digests that collects uh, highlights from Iron Man's career. Awesome. Nice. Riri Williams, Ironheart, number 11. For those that came in on Halloween Comic Fest, you got to see uh, Tam's stealth cosplay of Riri Williams. Awesome. That was yeah. pretty cool. Marvel Zombies Resurrection. Oh, here's some creepy Halloween comics. We got, well, let's do the A cover. <laughs> a cover by Lee and Hyuk, and I believe that the B cover is by G Young Joy Yoon. Yes. Mm. Oh. And that's oh. Nick Bradshaw. It's the spookiest Marvel <laughs> Zombies cover ever. <laughs> Red Goblin, Red Death, Cover, number one. Cover by Philip Tan. Hmm. Oh, I actually don't know who did that one. That one looks like a wraparound. You can tell it's for oh, Halloween because it has a pumpkin on it. And it's by <laughs> Doe Tree. Oh, nice. <laughs> and that one's by Whoa. Ron Lim. Nice. Very nice. <gasps> Silver Surfer oh, Black, number five. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, so sad. There's so many good books out this week. Uh oh. Well, he he wasn't having a very good time in that series. Oh, and the Mary Jane variant. variant by David Nakayama. Okay. Much less somber. Yeah. <laughs> I think we do have a third yeah, one. Yeah, do. Oh. Ooh. Uh oh. Mm. And that's the Ron Lim cover. That's nice. Spider Gwen, another short cut size trade paperback they, <laughs> what's going they on they call here? it the gntp format. the gntp because yeah marvel graphic novel uh, it's a nice year's paperback. worth of spider gwen in that book though sweet good price friendly neighborhood spider-man number 13 bloop, bloop. going up to the top real quick we got amazing spider-man number 30 and on a second print nice that was quick symbiote spider-man trade paperback marvel vs. thanos GNTP. <laughs> another, another greatest hits for Thanos. Thor, Volume 3, Wars End. I think that collects the balance of the Thor series, yeah? That's it. Nice. nice. Venom number 19, and Absolute Courage Time. Uh, that's a Kyle Hotz cover. Ooh, that B cover is actually by G. Young? Yeah, G. Yeah. Young. Yeah, yeah. New person. Creepy. Nice. It's super creepy for Halloween. Everything's creepy for Halloween. <laughs> Smurf. <laughs> what if the complete collection, volume two? Classic Marvel weirdness. And well, we may as well pop the cork on this one. <gasps> Excalibur number one. We already got it like a sneak peek at the counter. Uh, thing, it's so. a Marcus Toe cover, I believe. Yeah. So this is the next new number one after Hox Pox. Mike Del Mondo. Uh, but, 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 design that's, cover uh, Mueller. Design Hello Mueller. And, and that's Mark Bagley. Nice. That's all of them. Yes. That's yes, it. yes. Cool. They're all very cool. Okay. Got a couple more things on the top before we move on. We got Dead Man Logan, number 12 of 12, finishing out this maxi series. That's it for Logan. Uh oh. Um, and X Men Star Jammers trade paperback hey, from Dave like, Cochran. Sounds like a Space Jam. Yeah. Yeah. X Men Space Jam. That's where they do the crossover. Star <laughs> oh, we actually got a couple more things. Though. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. That's right. Oh, let's go down to the bottom here. We got. We got oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> Marvel Action Spider Man Volume Two with Craven. Ooh, Spider Chase. Oh, now with more Craven. True Believers X Men. Moria McTaggart. Yes. Read all about her before we knew she was a mutant. What a pivotal character. <laughs> X-Men 
Karima Shapandar Omega Sentinel. Oh, apparently this will be important. This as is well. not what I recognize as a pivotal issue, but sure. Yeah, that's sure. the great thing about uh, Jason Aaron's run, or uh, John Hickman's run on X Men. He's pulling out a lot of interesting deep oh, yeah. cuts from X Men's history. Oh, yes. All right, what do we got over here? Star Wars. We got Star Wars. Well, Journey to Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker. Star Wars: Allegiance, number four, as well as Star Wars: Doctor Ephra Annual, number three. I like this cover. Oh yeah, this it's cover. got art by uh, Elsa Chartier. Oh nice. I like it. And we got Star Wars Adventures Return to Vader's Castle number five, Night of the Lava Zombies. Woods, woogie, <laughs> <That's laughs> <three. laughs> Zombies oh, is the theme. I guess we don't have that. Oh wait, yes we do. Oh, oh. Okay, we got Archie, 1955, The Birth <laughs> of Rock and Roll. Oh. Look at these great covers. <gasps> One fold <of> money. <laughs> 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 yep. Cool. And moving on, we got uh, Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance, number two. By the Matthew Sisters. That's a David Peterson cover. Looking Whoa. good. That's it. And I think there's a third one oh. in there. That's. Oh. Oh. Aha. Aha. Ooh, oh, it's connecting with the number one. Probably. Very colorful. Ooh. Nice. The other side. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's connect. Ooh, okay, it is, is connect. Ooh, that's nice. That's really nice. Cool. Excellent. Junkhead, Time Police number five of five. And then we got Star Pig number four of four. Look at that nice Sarah Richard cover. Yeah, she's been doing all of them. I think she does the interiors too. Oh yeah. No. Maybe. No, no, I'm making that up. Okay. Star Trek year <laughs> five number seven. Ooh. Ooh. I threw the, the 1 in 10 variant in there just for the heck of it. Nice. Cover price, folks. Get it while you can. It's a secret Halloween surprise. TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Niam N9, City Whoa. of War, Part 7. Only one more issue left for the big monumental issue 100. And let me warn you, folks. Get your orders in. Mm -hmm. Get your subscriptions in. Mm -hmm. Don't normally support this for the shelf. Get it while you can, and then let us know you want number 100. Awesome. Transformers Galaxies, number two. Ooh, A and B cover. Oh, very nice. We got one more. Ooh, <gasps> one more. Super shiny. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, number 44. The shiniest cover ever. <laughs> Ooh. Bunch of bad stuff happening to Robotron. Doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. Oh. All right, uh, what else do we got here? We got books, we got books everywhere. We got books over okay. here. Okay, here we go. Black Mage graphic novel. And that looks really cool. I'm actually really interested in reading that. It looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, it does. Is it about witches? Yeah, you know, the KKK's evolved. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Colorful Dream soft cover. That's pretty. That looks really pretty. Pretty. We got one over here. Ooh. Oh, small. <laughs> I'm excited about the Street Angel Deadliest Girl Alive Trade Paper Baggage, which collects, I think, all of these, right? Yep. Or most of them? I'm pretty sure, yes. Bloop, 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 bloop. All in one handy TPGN. <laughs> <laughs> GNTP. And uh, for if you buy this here, you'll get a free signed book plate. <gasps> And a couple of stickers from our pal Jim Rugg, creator of Street Angel. Sweet. Uh, and he also threw in a couple, a little bit of uh, swag from uh, Cartoonist K Fabe, the podcast that he runs with Ed Pisker. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. We got so. a couple more things. Hmm. My Little Pony, Spirit of the Forest trade paperback. That looks cute. Courageous Princess Volume 1, is this in soft cover? Because this has been out before, yes? Yeah, I think this is the first time in this trim size. Mm. Uh, Dark Horse is printing it now, so we've uh, treated to a very nice remastered version of this book. Wonderful. Lily the Thief, graphic novel from Jane Kukonen. Mm -hmm. And Sanity and Tallulah, Volume 2, Field Trip. Yay! Looks like Volume 1 did so good, we don't even have any left. And last but not least... <gasps> Invasion of the Scout Bots. Scuttle Bots. Oh, scuttle Bots. 
Scuttlebots. Scuttlebots. Oh, it's God. a new Star Scouts volume, volume three, from Mike Lawrence. Yeah, we've got all of them in stock. Yeah. One, two, and three. Catch up on your Star Scouts now. <laughs> that wraps up our tour of the store. So thank you for joining us on Brainscan. Be sure to tune in every Tuesday at 6.30 live on Facebook. But if you miss our live stream, you can always catch it later on the YouTube. And also, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe so that we stay in your feed and you never miss an episode. Stay up to date on all of our happenings. We are Green Brain Comics on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Cheese Whiz, Tumblr, Twitter. I don't think we do the Tumblr. No, Twitter, not too much on the Tumblr. Uh, oh, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Oh, yeah. But on Twitter, we are Green Brain CMX. And we are always spreading the love of comic books and graphic novels since 1985 inside or from the heart of East Downtown here in Moore. Inside the heart. Clawing outside the heart. Feed your brain! <laughs> green brain! Green brain! Oh, green brain! <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this spooky episode of Brain Scan. Make sure to check out the website, greenbraincomics.com, for the full list. And sign into Comic Hub. Get your Comic Hub on. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Good night.